Are you talking trash? What are these guys saying? Remember me? Did this guy say, remember me? Remember me. I'm not gonna remember you. I'm surprised that these guys are not freaked out. Oh, shut up. This guy's sleeping. Zzz, zzz. So I'm gonna assume that uh, this letter that's shaped uh, like someone knows <laughs> uh, is uh, the letter Z. Letter Z. None of these uh, guys are using that letter Z. Huh? Alright, let's continue on. Not a heart emoji? God damn. Gay? What? Look at this giant ass apple! <laughs> That's a big fucking apple! Low poly, too! Is that a root? I'm not sure. I've never heard of them going so big before. Could that voice we heard uh, have been... Yes, that was me. It talks. I am the Grand Roo. <laughs> the oldest of all the Roos here. And I am the one who summoned you here. It can talk? I can hardly believe it. Well... I'm the one you heard, but it was actually the Ruda Tree that asked me to summon you. The Ruda Tree? You talk to trees? I'm merely acting as a, a go-between since you can't speak uh, with, uh, with, uh, with it yourselves. Honestly, it really is quite a bother. <laughs> I'd rather uh, be resting right now. But the Ruda Tree simply wouldn't take no for an answer. Nah. And it wouldn't leave me alone until I did what it asked. The middlesome thing. <laughs> See, it had been sleeping for the past several centuries. But it awoke when it felt an evil presence in the Temple of the Sun. One very similar uh, to the presence it felt before it fell asleep in the first place. Or so the senile dull fool claims. <laughs> Does that mean the Ruda Tree knows uh, how the Kingdom of Soseda collapsed? Is that important to know? Naturally, much like uh, now, Lord Ildeal was a bit touched uh, in the head. <laughs> the evil presence in the temple at this moment is exactly the same as it was then. Too exactly. Uh, it was King Lafance who managed to bring Lord Ildil back to his right mind. Is that so? And he gained the power to do so through another mask. A twin. Possessed of the power to oppose the Mask of the Sun. It's gonna be uh, aptly named the Mask of the Moon. Or again, so the senile old fool claims. Another mask? That's right, the Mask of the Moon. Ah! Of course! Of course. <sighs> Let me talk, you old windbag. <laughs> I swear. Trees make the worst conversation partners. The Mask of the Moon? I had no idea such a thing existed. The Mask of the Sun and Moon are two sides of the same fruit. Coin, you mean. With the Mask of the Moon, you would be able to enter the Temple of the Sun. Really? How convenient. Or so the senile old fool claims. Do you know where this mask uh, of the moon is? It's been a long, long time since that mask's presence uh, was uh, last felt. Oh. However, there are two places that seem to be uh, exhibiting similar energy patterns now. How the hell can you sense all of that? You big uh, old horny fool. One of these is uh, Mountain uh, Vesuvio. Vesuvio, where the late King Lafonce went to train and meditate. The other is in the ruins of Lake Tol uh, Tolmes, where, uh, where he's 
where he is uh, said to have uh, first resolved uh, to establish the Salcedon Empire. Let me read that again. The other is in the ruin of uh, on Lake uh, Tolmis, where he is said uh, to have first resolved resolved to establish the Salcedon Empire. Okay, he was the one that actually, uh, like, uh, uh, established uh, this empire, or so says this damn tree. Both uh, Mount Vesovio and the Tolmas Ruins are on the outskirts of Il Duke. They're not far from here at all. Okay, why are you why were uh, why are you sad though? You looked a little bit disappointed. Let's go, Ado. We don't have much time left. Wait, there is uh, apparently one more important fact you need to know, and this had better be it, you old fossil. <laughs> It's the way to con uh, to counteract Eldil's madness. Uh, is that even possible? Neither I nor the Rhoda Tree know the exact method, but King Lafance must know. Memories are often left behind in places to which the soul has a strong connection. Okay. As you've lost many of your own memories, surely you're uh, familiar with this. I believe, I believe, for you, they've uh, thus far manifested in white. Uh, they were red, actually. I'm sure you'll learn more about more. Uh, you'll learn more by experiencing uh, the memories of King Lafons for for yourself. Should you come across them, and they are out there, or well, you know. Uh, thank you. The Rhoda Tree uh, says, uh, you're welcome. And I say, get out! <laughs> what? Hmm. Really now? Don't mind me. I'm just uh, catching up uh, with this old uh, splinter. Old splinter? Nice. I get it. Nice. Take care on your journey, uh, young ones. Uh, so says the road a tree. <laughs> You've been a great help. We truly appreciate your assistance. I need to rest now. The road a tree has made my already weary bones even wearer uh, with its uh, incessant shatter. Sleep is calling me. Uh -oh. I don't think he's going to wake up again for a good long while. It seems our next two destinations are uh, Mount uh, Vesuvio and the Lake uh, Tolmas Ruins. Uh, what about the castle that uh, that was guarded by that monster? Uh, you know that's ca that's coming out from uh, from its door. Were we not gonna be able to go there? Is that? Uh... Uh, Tolmas Ruins or whatever? Both are out uh, past the Temple Grounds uh, east exit. And both are uh, treacherous, so we can investigate uh, either one first. Let's go, Adol. Are, are we gonna have uh, a freedom to actually choose uh, where to go? For once? Zzz. If you want to talk uh, to the young ones, uh, search for the caller. Collar? Oh, where can I find that collar? Huh. Where can I find that collar? I'm, I'm gonna try. And see if uh, I can get it. Maybe uh, I can actually buy it. Or maybe I can actually make it. I might actually be able to make it. Hmm. Alright, viewers. So, uh, I am going to assume... Yeah, now we can actually uh, get the hell out of here. So, uh, let me let me just see if I can uh, grab that treasure chest over here. 
I think it's so the only treasure chest that I can grab, right? Let's see if we can actually examine this area. Now we can oh I can grab this treasure chest. It's a golden treasure chest, which contains Sacred Beast Collar. Is that the collar that we need to talk uh, to use it to call to talk to to the goddamn goddamn? Sacred Beast Collar, when equipped, turns party members into ruse, allowing them to communicate with other ruse. In addition, beasts and monsters will not attack. Oh, is that is that a way for you to actually skip uh, fights? So you can actually go around without uh, without uh, you know. Uh, without aggroing uh, other enemies, that's actually uh, cool. Is this actually gonna be an artifact? Please let it be an artifact. Thank you. Uh, I didn't turn into a uh, into uh, an animal. Though. Can I talk to the monsters though? I know I can talk to the ruse, but can I talk to the monsters? I'm gonna try it out. <laughs> is this how, uh... Is this how, uh... Free to look? Leave it to me. Leave everything to me. Damn, look. This is the dash, huh? My turn. It, look, it looks blue. Understood. And Ozma? Damn, Ozma looks uh, devilish. So, females... Uh, males have twin tails. Females, uh, have just uh, one tail, I guess. Uh, pointing like, a, uh, like, uh, have, have three points in its tail. But, uh, males have two, uh, have twin tails? Okay. Let me check how the others uh, actually look. Yeah, this is, uh, this game is definitely... Friendly for the, <laughs> uh, what you call it? Uh, furries will like this game. <laughs> Why do you have uh, a uh, uh, a red hair too here? Oh, well, not a red hair, a, br a brunette or blonde? Is that blonde or brunette? Right. Yeah, I guess uh, that's how uh, that's how it is. Okay, that's cool, I guess. Uh, let's bring the original team. Mm. Yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and talk to people here before we actually continue our adventure. Do you want to buy something? Ru... Ruinos? Is that its name? I think I have a lot of goods uh, to sell, but maybe not. What do you mean, maybe not? Come again. Frugal, I haven't seen you around here before. Though, I don't really care. Come on, these prices are a rip-off. You can sell uh, these things uh, for cheaper. Stop being such a... A miser. Miser? Miser? Screw up. <laughs> Screw up? <laughs> That's rude. What's your name? Repeat. Screw up and repeat? What is it? Hmm, I see. Yes, yes. So your name is uh, Fruda? <laughs> That's a, a tasty sounding name. Delicious. Fruda? Uh, can I actually do it for everyone? Doroon? Uh, what did he say? What a strange name. Yes, yeah, strange. <laughs> Leave it to me. What about Ozma? Ruzma? That's a girly name. Whoa. <laughs> pretty, pretty. Ozma is definitely, it doesn't sound like a girl's name, but. Uh, 
Call me ma'am. Call me ma'am. What's your name? Aduru? That's a cool name. Super cool. Leave it to me. What's your name? Karuna? That's a pretty name. Really pretty. How oh, about this? Well, uh, Kalilika. Kalilika is definitely gonna be complicated. Karuruka? Karuruka? Well... <laughs> How the hell did you guess that? Right, have a nice day. I'm smart. That's uh, a strong sounding name. Mighty. Mighty. Mighty, uh... Mighty boring. Mighty boring name, if you ask me. I think, therefore I am. A roost total. <laughs> hmm, but... I am what? Rupture. Wriggle, wriggle. I don't think I can hold this uh, in much longer. I think I'm gonna burst. What do you mean? Burst? Uh, wanna pee? Go ahead and pee. Arrogant. Uh, uh, you knew around here? I'm the strongest, strongest sacred beast in town. Name's Arrogant. And don't you forget it. Arrogant the Arrogant. Rude. I'm mad, I'm angry, I'm feeling go- Ordinary! Is that a pun? Druzy. Mm, I can't eat anymore. Hey, listen, listen, Cruz. The other day, I ate a root of fruit. And it was the bestest root of fruit I ever ate. Do you want to know why? Of course you want to know why. And I want you to know why. It was really, really sweet. How sweet? Mm, about as sweet as honey, maybe? Yes, yes, honey will do. As sweet as honey? Oh, she has a little bag? I just noticed that she has a little bag. Holy hell. Actually, it was this, uh, that sweet. Although, actually, come to think of it, it might have been even sweeter than honey. Holy. The point is, it was sweet. I've never tasted anything like it. I probably won't taste anything like it ever again, either. That's... That's kind of depressing. Moving on. The other day, the Grand Brew. Is this, uh... Gonna be it? Okay. Embarrassed? Ah, you really do love the sound of your own voice, don't you? Uh, are you talking to me? <laughs> are you talking to me directly? This game is talking to me. But, uh, you know what? I don't really mind that. Nor even dislike it. Talkative brews are good brews. All brews are good brews. Rucifer? <laughs> Why does Marulian always get all the attention? Hiss. Damn. Uh, Adam and Eve? This is gonna be Adam, this is gonna be Adam, this is gonna be Eve? Aaron and uh, Reeve? Romeo. <laughs> Romeo. Oh, Marulin. Well, that's not Juliet, though. Oh, Marulin! You are so beautiful. You are the most beautiful Ru ever to live in a thousand years. No, ten thousand years. Oh, my flattery will get you nowhere, heart emoji. Damn. Oh! I'm gonna have to talk to this Ru. Uh, it's talking to Adol. Arukul. Me oracle, me see destiny. Destiny of other rue tastes like honey. Ugh. What the shit is that? What? What the hell is this bunny? Oh, or <laughs> a rabbit. <laughs> I forgot her name. I guess her name is a uh, rabbit, not bunny. Eh, tomato, tomato. Whew, I don't think the Romans uh, will follow us this far. Probably not. Hmm. What's with that uncertain response? 
Is there some kind of problem? Well, of course there's a problem. As if it weren't bad enough, we got into trouble with the Romans and the underground ruins. We've now gotten on uh, their bad side in Highland too. Oh shit. <laughs> We're basically fugitives now. Well, I don't know about fugitives. Do you... Do you regret it? Regret it? Well, yeah! Nothing good comes from opposing the Romans these days. But I'll admit, I did want to see the primeval lands for myself. So I'm certainly not blaming you or anything. Okay. For someone who's not blaming me, he sure does uh, lay it on pretty thick. Okay. M well, thank you. But I was... Kind of asking if you regretted it, like, on a more fundamental level. What do you mean by that? Where you regretted partnering up with me, I guess. Oh. Uh, I, I think I would. Well, his name is Pigeon? Ugh. Rabbit? What? I just wasn't expecting to hear that kind of talk coming from you, that's all. Do I regret partnering up with you? Of course I do. <laughs> nice. What the hell? Um, what I'm trying to say is, despite all we've been through on this expedition, I'm happy with how things turned out in the end. So I guess there are more good points than bad points? I don't think so. You're just scared. I mean... When I'm with you, I never have time to even think about being bored. Damn. Otherwise, I would have uh, dissolved our partnership long ago. Damn. Damn. He's in. He's in. Pretty rare to see you uh, speechless. Uh, there's uh, no one around here but us, you know. Damn! Uh, b behind the bush? Goddamn! Uh, or uh, under the waterfall? Is that where you guys are gonna do it? If you, if you want, I'd be happy to let you cry. Oh. What the shit? What the shit is that? Uh oh, she beat him up and then used the potion? Think of that last potion as a sign of my great mercy. Because if you ever get carried away like that again, I am going to kill you. Wow. And you keep going on about partners and partnership. But we're not partners. You're my servant and I'm your master. Oh, um, that is a weird kink. And uh, don't you forget it. Uh, rabbit? It's Lady Rabbit to you, maggot. Holy... Say it! No, I'm trying to be serious. <laughs> Say it! Your wish is my command, Lady Rabbit. God damn. God damn! That'll, uh, base defense increase by one? <laughs> Why are you introducing me to goddamn uh, k these kind of kinks? This woman's so selfish, but she really lonely. Her partner, indecisive, but love her completely. Oh, love the big L? Me think they make a good team. Alright. I guess that was cool. Me oracle, me see destiny. Destiny of other who taste like honey. But you? Mino tried too much with you. Maybe I'm gonna come back to him and he's gonna show me something cool later? Not enough. Give me more fruit. Maybe there's gonna be a quest later that uh, I actually need to give him fruit? Uh... Okay, so I guess, uh, I, I guess that, uh, that is uh, that, that is interesting, yeah, we managed to actually talk to all these fools using the, the beast collar, what's it called again? Can I upgrade it? What can I get if I upgrade it? I'm actually interested in, 
actually seeing what I can get if I upgrade it. So, uh, let me go ahead and do that real quick before I actually move on. Were you the one that's gonna upgrade uh, stuff for me? Uh, is it you or is it, uh... Oh, yeah, I think, yeah, I think it's uh, the guys in Highland. It's the guys in Highland. So let me double check and know what I can get from... What if I change it into a goddamn Maru here? Um, I'm not gonna change it into a Maru. That's a shame. Uh, what can I get from... Unleashing this. Uh, becomes Rue. Speak with Rue's and prevent attacks. Increased movement speed. That's it? Just gonna increase the movement speed? Increased tackle damage. Huh. That's actually interesting. I might actually get this one. I might actually get this one. Uh... Okay, so this is uh, what you get if you uh, upgrade the Sacred Beast uh, color. That is... That is pretty cool. I don't, but I don't think I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna focus on upgrading it immediately. Alright, TV viewers. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, read some of the entries. Of the uh, enemies that we faced. Uh, this is uh, in Colonia Battlefield. Not a lot of enemies that we face, but uh, it's a really good uh, place to grind, as I said before. Tribal Cloth sells for two, uh, 1200 uh, for uh, 1200, 1200 gold, so uh, it's actually really good. Oh, this is n this enemy is not listed as a boss. That's weird. Galba Duel, the Abandoned Warrior. A living weapon created during an ancient battle. He has been bound to a heavy door ever since, blindly attacking all who approached it. Who approach it. Uh, this is weird. It's weird that uh, this one is not listed as a boss. I'm not gonna say this actually was hard. This definitely doesn't have a lot of uh, HP compared to the other bosses. What does it have? Only 3,000? Yeah, 3,000 is definitely not a, not a lot. Completas, a humanoid monster residing in Colonia Battlefield. Colonia? Is this uh, like a, is this like in Spain? <laughs> Where the hell are we? Shoots fire arrows uh, coated with a special oil that chars the point of impact. Okay. Pogorov. A man-beast hybrid that lives in the wastelands. The smell of its breath is so bad, one whiff will render any poor soul unable to move. So this is uh, the one that causes uh, uh, paralysis. Uh, yeah, these guys are definitely the best uh, people to kill to get something out of them. Especially you can get titanic bones and tribal cloth. Uh, both of these sell for a lot of cash. These are the enemies from the Forest of Spores. Zakaruku, a large scorpion born in a distorted uh, environment. Its scissor-like tails... I don't... I won't call that scissor-like, but whatever. Its scissor-like tail is strong enough to cut uh, through solid bone. Uh, okay. Raphael. It's not Raphael, it's Raphael. Uh, Infant monster shelled in an uh, in a thin egg-like membrane that it can enter the uh, and exit it uh, at well. Really? Oh yeah, it is. It is. It really doesn't look like uh, doesn't look like it. Spends most of the time hopping, but occasionally headbutts foes. Holy! <laughs> Demelil. Raviel's adult form, holy hell, they, yeah. I mean, when they grow up, they were cute when they were little. Um, well, I'm not gonna say they were cute, they're still hideous, but they're, uh... They can look intimi intimidating when they grow up. While it has no eyes, it can sense the presence of prey and bite at them 
with its strong jaw. I don't think uh, this is actually applies in any mechanical way in game mechanics. Like, if you say still, they're not gonna see you or something like that. I don't think this is a this is something in the game. Supufang, Supufanga, Supufanga. That's a weird name. A monster. Well, pff, I mean, all of them ha have weird names, but uh, this one is especially weird. A monster that has developed to have arms like uh, uh, scythes. Most comically, moves comically while uh, taking aim at its foes and fights with the uh, acidic uh, mucus. Comically. Does it walk funny? And these are uh, the rabbits. Uh, I think we've definitely checked on the boss, right? The Frog's Inn. It lives in the Frog's Inn. A humanoid frog that lives in the area of the Ashen Forest where the concentration of uh, nauseous gases is low. Most are remarkably lazy. <laughs> mm, I don't remember if I actually read about these, uh, the enemies in the Ashen Forest. I don't think so. I don't think so. Ashen Forest enemies, viewers. Graham. Uh, the name Graham um, reminds me that uh, I might actually read about them. A giant bodied monster that lives in a polluted earth wriggles across the surface, targeting other living creatures. Well, uh, by living creatures, uh, you mean only me and my party members. Yeah, I guess that's true. Benolith, a strange creature born in areas where the toxic gases are particularly dense, explodes when touched, spreading large amount of toxins nearby. Damn. Dizwala. Dizwala these nuts? A <laughs> plant? Which uh, came... Well, it definitely shoots some nuts, so I don't know, probably true? Which came about as a sudden mutation in uh, poor quality soil. Fires a barrage of seeds, well, seeds, nuts, whatever, upon sensing prey and can uh, spit toxic gases at nearby foes. Velma, a monster which floats in, stra uh, in stagnant air, spreads toxic gases when it scents uh, other living creatures causing significant bodily harm. Yeah, most of these creatures definitely, like, spew some toxins and gases. And gases. Rotoruta. A turtle? Well, that's definitely not a turtle. Holy hell, that's kind of fish. A fish inside a, a turtle shell. A turtle which has evolved to be able to survive in the toxic uh, marshland. Sprays toxic gases from its uh, carapace and charges its foes at high speeds. That's true. Mad Dogra Sliff. This is the enemy that we needed to fight to uh, uh, to uh, get the ultimate weapon for uh, what you call it. Uh, all for Frida. A large plant born in a corrupted ecosystem uses seeds and poisonous gases to steal the energy of other creatures and extends its own life. I don't think it ever did that to me. 14,000! Uh, Holy hell! 14,000? Definitely more. Yeah, it's even more than some of the bosses that we fought. 14,000! Holy. Doesn't have a lot of defense though, right? 237... Holy hell, never mind, it's actually... This is a boss fight! This is pretty much a boss fight, and fought it, we fought it five times too. Holy hell. Subterranean Forest? I don't know if I actually read about these. That's the thing... Man, if only there was a way for me to actually catch the... Uh, know if I actually read an entry or not. Like, um, like the menu would tell me that, oh, you have a new entry, but I think I actually read about these. Not uh, certain if I actually read about the subterranean forest creatures, though. Petal, an insect uh, uh, adept at moving in dark environments. While its movements are swift and its jumping attacks powerful, it often uh, winds up tripping. Stupid. Uh, bon Pete, not Bon Appetit, Bon Pete! Monster which stores nauseous gases from the deepest parts of the ashen forest inside itself. Its eyes are weak, so it uses ultrasonic waves to see. Quote unquote see? I don't know if that if you can call that a quotation mark. Well, no, well it is. Not, not, not a double quotation mark. 
Which, yeah, I don't think this is actually a, uh, a mechanic where these guys are not gonna be able to see you or they'll have to sense you. That's, it doesn't work like that. In this game, at least. Rodorian, a grotesque monster with a mouth that covers its entire body. Uh, I think I we actually read about this one. But, yeah, I don't see the, the mouth part, though. A bites and chew and chews its spray as if embracing it with its entire body. And Diraula, a strange plant creature, uh, a, a, a strange plant created as a result of magic, wanders entirely uh, through in through instinct, expelling or injecting a cursed poison into its uh, target. Really? Is it actually different? Uh... From this one, we've met this uh, this kind of creature before, by the way, viewers. Uh, yeah, there it is. Ancient plant. So this one is an ancient plant, but the other one is a manufactured through magic. Uh, uh, nice try, game. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, game. You're just uh, you're just reusing the assets. That's it. You know, I guess uh, I don't mind that much. I don't mind that much. All righty, viewers. So uh, it is uh, that time again. I'm gonna go back to some of the cities and you know try and uh, see if we have something uh, new. Uh, I assume that we actually can interact with some of the people here. Uh, especially with Mouse, I think Mouse will have some new information, as well as uh, Zara and Sildray. I wonder if my mother is doing all right back home. Uh, this is definitely a new entry. I should write to her. Or, you, you know, I want to get uh, one of these, uh, whatchamacallit? The Golden Wings. Is it the Golden Wings that allows me? Allows party to, uh, to, uh, to warp to any monument. Yep, you should uh, get one of these. Daniel seems to uh, even more homesick than usual lately. I'm from Sosetta, so I can't really relate. But watching uh, him suffer definitely makes me feel bad for him. Really? All right, I'm gonna shut up. All right, let's go talk to this guy. Come get the latest coops. Pay him uh, the hundred gold sum. <laughs> Thanks. Musical note. Today's scoop is about the eccentric explorer duo Rabbit and Pigeon. Oh, mm, mm, mm. there's a certain awkwardness between them, don't you think? Like they're just uh, starting to date, even though they. Used to be lovers. They only. They used to be. They used to be. It's like they don't know uh, what to do with one another. Uh, innocent as can be. Don't see them around here much anymore, though. That's actually kind of a scoop. Uh, it's not a useful one, but uh, the rabbit and pigeon are former lovers. It's a fact. It is that a fact, or are you, you know, we're having uh, some tales out of your ass? These tails out of your asshole. These tails came out. These, uh, you know, facts uh, came out of your asshole. <laughs> well, for a uh, for starter, he actually managed to uh, to deliver something uh, new, which I guess it actually became. Um, it is a little bit interesting. Yeah, let me talk to this uh, lady. I'm a little bit tired today. Yeah, yeah, was busy last night. Maybe I should look for another job. Is that what they are emphasizing here? She's a she's a hooker. We really are fortunate when you think about it. We probably should be more grateful for what we've got rather than uh, taking it all for granted. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes. Uh, you're quite right there. I have plenty of money, so I certainly don't need uh, to hold back. Uh, it helps uh, that I am blessed uh, by a wonderful family. You have a lot of money? Damn. Good for you. You're no match for me, King Monstro the 15th. Holy shit. 
Wait, or was uh, was it the 16th? He killed the uh, 15, probably 14, or maybe it was uh, the 14th. Maybe 13, actually. I think it was the. Uh, who cares about that? Hurry up and find me! And you will lost. Goddamn! This is a. This is the first to. Uh, to the, this is the first to 13. It's 13-0. It's first. It's a. Uh, it's 13-0. Holy hell! This is a like uh, some sort of a. A perfect, perfect legend uh, <laughs> uh, set. Perfect legend uh, versus uh, what you call it, the Sonic Fox. There are so many widely different rumors about the Primeval Land. Some even say there's nothing uh, there at all. Uh, why are you saying that? Uh, even though. Oh, the news still haven't reached. Yeah, I forgot. Uh, this, uh, some of the news haven't reached uh, Kasnan about what's happening in the primeval land. In Ka in Kamudu and Silray, uh, everyone knows it, what's there, or pro partially knows what's there. But uh, Kasnan, the Kasnan people, they're in uh, they're in the dark. It really is just covered uh, with the primeval forest, though. Man, that'd be so boring. If it's an uncharted world, then it should be like that. But it's not. It's not. I can't tell you that it is, though. I need to talk to you, Irene. When it comes down to it, uh, the life you lead uh, depends entirely on your partner. By which I mean how much money you have to spend, of course. <laughs> If uh, there were a handsome, brave, rich man out there who would love only me, I mean, uh, tit for tat, lady, it's for tit for tat. Not much information about what's going on in the great forests uh, reaches uh, us uh, guardsmen, but we at least know if our fellow soldiers are safe. Seems Commander Leo and his men are well ac accounted for. Uh, at the first, uh, at the very least, that alone is quite reassuring. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I find him difficult to deal with, but uh, that doesn't mean I'd want anything to happen to him. Even if it would make sense uh, for me to wish him ill, all things considered. Fine! One day I'm going to be an older sister. <laughs> Damn. If only you knew what's uh, happening uh, there, upstairs. That's the result, lady. But older uh, sisters aren't allowed to be selfish, Sniffle. Damn, uh, Mama Mimi or whatever, Nora. I wonder if I was a bit harsh on uh, Minmi yesterday. No, I'm doing what I have to. That's for her own good. If I'm not uh, going to be strict with her, then who is? Damn! Uh, congratulations on the future baby, Nora. Should I actually change my party members? No, I'm gonna leave them intact for now. Uh, I'm gonna try and uh, reach level 45 before I try and attempt uh, taking down that taking down that uh, uh, enemy that resides here and trying to get uh, whatever treasure that's in there. Triple G is so beautiful, isn't she? This is the only thing they've been saying for the last uh, few encounters compared to her. Got a long way to go. Every drop of alcohol is precious. Is as precious as a drop of blood, sir. What? No matter what, I should never. It should never be wasted. I don't know about that. Uh, we're never gonna uh, leave from this side of, uh, of the game. I thought there's gonna be something, uh, like some sort of a town that we can go to in the east section. Uh, I can't stop touching them. I'm hungry, but I want to stroke his paws more uh, uh, than I want to eat. Weird. What a weird ass lady. 
Never, um, never touched a cat's paw. Are they worth uh, touching? I wonder what uh, the Roman army are doing now. Uh, they haven't. I don't know if I actually said uh, mentioned that before of yours, but uh, I hate cats first and foremost. <laughs> And I think I did say it in this playthrough that I actually we actually have uh, cats uh, saying uh, in the yard uh, and don't allow them to get in the house. They're in the yard and I we feed them like on a daily basis. There used to be five, but uh, three of them, you know, haven't uh, haven't haven't came back and only two resides. Now I think I definitely mentioned that. Maybe I don't know. I remember mentioning this, but I don't remember if I mentioned it, mentioned it in this uh, playthrough though. <laughs> yes, I'm playing multiple games. Oh, actually, I'm only playing one and streaming another. They haven't returned since leaving uh, for the Great Forest. Has something happened to them? Uh, he's talking about Commander Leo, or no, just the Roman army. I wonder what the Roman army is doing. Blah blah blah. Uh, but yeah, if you uh, if you guys are watching me playing uh, Super Metroid, then yeah, it's around the same time that I'm actually playing this game. <laughs> squish, squish. Uh, his meat quality, uh, I mean, his body's uh, softened up uh, quite a bit. His meat quality. Uh, be right. You're so drunk. Yeah, they're gonna eat you, by the way. I don't know if they're gonna eat you. <laughs> Let me talk to these guys over here. Alright, time to work uh, up a sweat. And we're not gonna get into this section of the mines? I thought this section over here is gonna open. Sorry, this is awful limits right now. Gonna have to ask you to leave. Maybe we're gonna have to. It's still, it's still not all, you know. Like they mentioned these uh, ruins, but uh, I might actually have to access to them once we actually realize what maybe the importance of these ruins. I live for my family. Yeah, I live for my work. Yeah, live for my work. Mm, that is actually something uh, really sad to say. 